Hi, it's Adam Leach from the Portsmouth Herald. We uh, were on the scene about 9.15 uh, Thursday morning. A, uh, it appears a, a, a dump truck fell on its side on Commerce Way. It snapped a uh, telephone pole in half with uh, live wires and uh, fuel spillage. And uh, not sure what's going to happen now, but the uh, driver is uh, visibly in, uh, okay and on top of his truck. And we're waiting to see how they're going to get him out. It's a uh, it's a uh, trash compactor truck. To get more information, driver was uh, in the vehicle. There was one uh, power line that was charged along with cable and all that other stuff. We did uh, secure and get him out. Our biggest concern is we have a uh, a marsh and water area behind here of some significant size. There's 75 gallons of diesel fuel in their tank, this fuel tank. But that's not leaking, but a hydraulic tank about 50 gallons is leaking so we boom the water side and until we can secure with PSNH the power we won't be able to boom anymore we have a New Hampshire DES rep coming because it is involving a spill of over 50 gallons in a waterway and it looks like we'll be here for a while we luckily um, one of our uh, primary firefighters on uh, right now is the uh, city's electrical inspector. So we had some background on that, and we basically we made sure everything was all set before we did anything. That's why we kept him in the truck until we decided that the vehicle itself was not energized. Well, of course, initially you have a victim entrapped yeah. with a live wire and a fuel spill, so you're always worried about him getting furtherly injured or electrocuted. There's a, a spark which ignites the uh, flammable hydraulic fluid or the diesel tank. So that's why you'll look on the other side and you'll see a, a hydrant's been tagged. We have a hand line uh, stretched over to it. So the um, good part is we had no other ignition sources. The biggest thing right now is the uh, environmental impact that this might have.